I'm Celeste. I'm Sarah. And welcome to our casual corner. This is cash. So, pick up a drink for the next however long. And let's get started. Okay. I have my drink. I'm ready to go. Drinks, yes. So, here on cash, we pretty much are just gonna talk about whatever comes out of our magic hat. Magic hat. Uh -huh. And let's see what today's topic is. By the way, we were making this based off, Sarah made this based off of a recipe, and it's actually supposed to be like an orange and then red. But, you know, we pretty much nailed that, so. Yeah. yeah. All red. Virtual clink. Yeah. And drinking the blood of our enemy. Hmm. Okay. Delightful. Alrighty, pick a, pick a topic for today. Picking of said topics. All right, first topic is movies one has not seen, or movies one has seen, but the other has not. Ooh. So, Sarah, would you care to go first? I would. Um, I think we were talking about this movie the other day, and it was Arsenic and Old Lace. Arsenic and Old Lace. Mm -hmm. Do explain. I don't think I've seen. Give me a second. I'm not very entertaining when I'm by myself. Waiting for the cohort. How you doing? No. Yeah, I tried. There's Nick and Old Lace with Cary Grant. That's backwards to you, but you know. So in Arsenic and Old Lace, these two have gotten married. Okay. And he goes to his aunt's house, and his aunts basically entertain older gentlemen by drinks and everything. But the thing is that they poison their lonely compatriots. Because they've been, like, widowed or something like that. And they're like, okay. So they're like, yeah, we'll just give them a drink. Just to send them off. And then you find out that they're... This has happened many times. Um, I think it's his cousin or his brother. Uh, has this thing where he thinks he's Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then there's that. So he... <laughs> Cary Grant... He doesn't want to be Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cary Grant finds out that... His aunts are doing this, basically. So, he starts freaking out, and then all of a sudden, later on in the movie, his uh, his psychotic brother comes back, kills a whole bunch of people, got a whole face redo, <laughs> like face off, and uh, it's just really good kind of thriller fun, actually. So, yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So, the movie that I pick... <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen it, and I don't have the movie on hand, so I can't uh, be fancy okay. and show you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um... I'm like, if I look at it, I'll be able to explain it. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, I can't remember the names of the actors who were in it. They were kind of unknown actors at the time. Um, you'll see their faces in, like, other movies and stuff, and you'll just be like, oh, wait, I've seen that guy somewhere. Right. Um, but it's called Dead Girl. It's not like Gone Girl. No, it is not. It's so very far from Gone Girl. So, oh. <clears throat> I saw this movie off of Netflix, and it had said that it was supposed to be about, like, these guys basically find a zombie who's, like, in this old abandoned asylum that nobody's been in for, like, 50 years, oh, okay. and the doors are rusted shut, right? So, they're dicking around in there, and they somehow get the door open. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, so, they somehow get the door open, and when they go in, there's... A table in the middle of this room and it has a plastic sheet over it and so they're like okay that's kind of weird whatever so they're looking well the sheets kind of like moving that's not cool and, right no and so they're like <laughs> don't go towards the moving sheet yeah and so they're kind of like nobody's been in here for like 50 some odd years like it's been sealed what is that right well it's basically a zombie chick who's tied down to that slab and so there's a lot of weird, freaky stuff that happens to it. One of the guys gets <clears throat> a little frisky. We'll go ahead and call it that. And it gets a little gross. He basically mm. just mm. stays. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, so I do. he basically just stays in this room with the girl. You know what we're talking you about. You know what I'm getting at. Probably not a good idea. Don't so it do is, it. It is really creepy. Um, but I would suggest seeing it mostly because it'll kind of give you that, yeah. what did I just see thing? But it's one of those things where you, you can't help it. You just keep watching. Right. So I need to figure out the actor's names. But anyway, 
Um, they've the actors have made little cameos in other movies here and there. Like one of them was in Fanboys for like five seconds. Um, oh, one of the leading character girls is in The Vampire Diaries. Uh, I think her name is Candace Acola. Is that Acola? the? Is that the? She's the blonde. She plays Caroline. Oh, right. So she's in there, but she's got red hair in the movie. So it kind of took me a minute, and I was like, oh, I know your color face. really changes people's faces. Hmm. So there's that. But that's my movie. Do you have another one where you're kind of like, I don't think you've seen this, but I think you would enjoy it? Mm. I am a movie buff, so. Yes. Even though I can't name actors, apparently, but still. That's okay. <laughs> it, it'll come to you. You'll be like, Alan Rickman. <laughs> It was a movie on Netflix, and it was an animation, and I thought it was weird the first time around, but it was called Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of singing, and if you listen to the lyrics, you're like, he really wants to bang this ten-year-old. He is also a ten-year-old. Hashtag so, Lolita. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but um, the premise of the movie the, in the beginning, the woman comes in with a baby, she goes to the witch on the top of the hill. And she has to replace his heart because it's weak with the cuckoo clock. So then he has to make sure he doesn't get too overexcited or too in love or too angry or else it'll break. Okay. And then he, and when he's 10, he meets this girl singing in the street or something. I don't really know where they were. But then he sees this girl singing in the street and then she goes away. Then he goes to boarding school and gets picked on. And then it's just this whole fantastic trip. Okay. Like, weird type trip. But trip still, nonetheless. Like, right. death is involved, and it's like following on a train, and I'm like, I think that's Jack the Ripper, but I can't really tell. <laughs> so, it's really interesting. It's quite artistic. And then the ending, you're like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> so you have to watch it again, just to be like, oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. But Alright. It was good. It was very interesting. Very out there. So, I don't know if you've seen it. I feel like maybe you should have, but my next movie is called The Ridiculous Eight. Netflix original movie, Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? I did not see it. I, I looked at it and then went back to my binge of How I Met Your Mother. Gotcha. Yeah. Can't blame me for that. Yeah. So, <laughs> with that movie, one of my favorite passions is I like to watch stupid movies because then later on to me they just become... Hilarious. Right. Like, for me, the first time that I saw Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell and Danny McBride, I thought it was the stupidest freaking thing I had ever seen. And then the second time I watched it, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> And so now every time I watch it, I just think it's the funniest freaking movie of all time to me. Uh, not of all time, I'm exaggerating. It's a really funny movie and I enjoy watching it. So, Ridiculous 8 is kind of like that for me. Mm -hmm. And so it has, of course, Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider, and it also has, who's the kid from Twilight? Who played Jacob? Oh, the alpaca face boy. <laughs> <laughs> alpaca boy. Yeah. Uh, um, Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner. Or so Lautner, he's in there too. Because apparently we've been pronouncing it all wrong. Whatever the hell his name yeah. is. Anyway, and alpaca Luke boy. Wilson <laughs> is in there too. So I really enjoyed that movie. And Taylor Lautner actually kind of makes it for me. It, that's kind of weird to say yeah. because I have a love-hate relationship with the Twilight movies and him in it and Sharkboy and Lava Girl and all that other kind of stuff. I have that movie in my cabin. I do enjoy that movie. Yeah. So I I was kind of hesitant at first because I noticed that he was in there and so I was kind of like, really? Okay, so I'm in Grown Ups 2. All right, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So when I'm watching it, he's actually really funny as a, a ridiculous, mentally hindered hillbilly kid. But he is so funny. Oh, he gosh. totally just makes it for me. Like, there wasn't a time when I was watching him and I was just like, oh my god, this guy is so stupid, get off the screen. I was just dying every time he was on and he said something stupid. <laughs> and it was so funny. The premise, like, I kind of got into the premise a little bit more and I was like, okay, well, no, I think this is what's really happening. Or no, you know, it kind of gets your wheels turning a little bit. And there are parts where it's just really dumb and you're kind of like, oh, it's stupid, whatever. But... <laughs> When you're watching it, like, there's other parts where you're just like, oh my god, this is just funny. So, excuse me again. So recommended? I would recommend it. Okay. At least just watch it, you know, and then you could say that you watched it, and especially if, if you don't like it, who's to judge? We're not judging. No judgment here. I mean, unless you're Taylor Lautner, Alpaca Boy. But sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. She said it. I just I'm sorry. Collated with I did it. Like a, I did, like, a Photoshop of an Alpaca on Taylor Lautner. <laughs> what do you it's poor Taylor. <laughs> I don't. Somebody pointed it out to me, and I was like, I can't unsee this now. I, I don't see how he looks like an alpaca. 
I feel like we're going to have to do a photo comparison of this because I don't quite get it. <laughs> but okay, we'll throw it out there. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that, so. Yeah, you're by a phone. Is yours a 6 plus? Mine is a 6 plus. I am. So I... Big ass phone. Recently, it is a big ass phone. Big ass so, phone. So, I had a black iPhone 6 Plus, and I have a wicked cool cover because I love Rogue. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> and um, I really like it because it's Rogue in Marilyn Monroe's pose, and it makes me happy. And I got it off of Redbubble. So, with the 6 Plus, I had it in black. And I was with a friend of ours, and we were going to go do our nails and get waxed for the first time. <laughs> Later story. <laughs> Later story. So anyway, I was reaching to put it into my back pocket because apparently I think that my butt is the safest place for my phone. No. Nope. So when I was trying to put it in there, it kind of got caught on my shirt. And so when I let it go because I thought it was safe in my butt pocket, it falls out and it lands face flat. And so I instantly had the Schrodinger's cat effect. <laughs> so Face down. For, yeah. For anybody oh. who doesn't know the Schrodinger's cat, a little mini synopsis or whatever... It's this theory of you don't know until, like, you open the box. So if you put a cat in a box and you leave it there for X, Y, Z amount of days, hours, whatever. Because you're a horrible whatever, person. Because you're a horrible person. <laughs> it's in the box. The cat is both alive and dead because you don't actually know it's in the box. So until you actually open the box, the cat is both alive and dead. So if you open the box and the cat's alive, the cat's alive. Mm -hmm. If you open the box, the cat's dead, the cat's dead. But until that point, you just don't know. So, when I dropped my phone and it lands face down, I was like, it's totally going to be fine. I've dropped my phone before. It's going to be fine. So, I straight up reach down. I pick up my phone and I turn it and I just see this big fat crack and it's like there's holes and all this other crap in it. Oh and I go, no, oh my God, my phone. And I go straight Jane Austen on it. <laughs> like just over dramatic, romantic novel chick. Woe is me. The earth is unfair. Why? <laughs> and I'm just like so <laughs> upset. First Hashtag first real problem. <laughs> yes. And so when we go into the salon, the girl was like, oh my God, are you okay? I saw what happened to your phone and I saw your reaction. Oh you God. poor thing. And I was like, I know. Oh my God. And it was just really funny. But thank God I always have insurance for my phone. So I was able to get a new one. Yeah. But it was a really long side story. <laughs> it was a, whoop. <laughs> Welcome to Cash. Yeah. <laughs> casual corner where we talk about casual things. And sometimes take a sidebar. Sidebars aren't bad. I dig sidebars. Sidebars? Sidebeards? Beards? Bear? Bars? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, dear, what are you doing, my liberty? Okay. Alrighty, so after that little sidebar, here is our little outro. We just want to let you guys know that we will be posting solo videos since she lives down, way down the street, <laughs> down a highway even. But um, yeah, we have our own little solo videos about what we're passionate about. I do art and painting, and Celeste here does baking and crocheting and... Painting and movies and yeah, there you go. and watching of anime, mm -hmm. and comic yes. books. So we'd be posting a few of that maybe once or twice a week, and then after a while we'll get together and choose out of our little magic hat here for our next casual corner topic. And if you like us, that's cool. If you don't like us, that's cool too. Uh, we're just here for your entertainment or your fifteen minutes. Of laziness. And 15 minutes of laziness, <laughs> or you don't know what else to do. So, yeah. See you next time.